all right friends i hope uh, you have done the previous exercise uh, where we uh, studied about uh, k points and uh, how we need to check convergence of energy with respect to k points today we will be uh, talking about uh, how we can calculate the lattice constant of any uh, material with the help of uh, elk code or uh, what i can say with the help of density functional theory so i be i will be demonstrating this with the help of uh, aluminium so for that i have uh, uh, made a folder okay let us go to that folder which is uh, in examples let's not uh, make a new folder let's go to the same example it is in src elk for my case and then i have a version of 6. Point, uh, let us say go to 8 02 now here um, let's even again go to examples they have not talked about how to calculate uh, uh, lattice constant but i will teach you here how to calculate lattice constant so i'll again go to basic folder and uh, here let us try to calculate uh, lattice constant of aluminium so these are our uh, files from the previous day um i don't need uh, all these files as such right now so maybe i can remove all those uh, output files so this command rm minus rf star dot out will delete all the commands with the extension dot out star means anything beginning with uh, anything ending with the extension dot out fine now you would have uh, studied in your solid state physics course that uh, energy of any crystal is uh, lowest whenever the lattice constant of the crystal is equal to the experimental lattice constant or what we can say is that if you take a crystal you compress it its energy will increase or you will try to expand it again its energy will increase so actually the equilibrium position or uh, the equilibrium crystal structure of the <coughs> material is the one where the overall energy of the material is minimum so now we shall be seeing that statement with the help of this simple uh, uh, example of aluminium so suppose uh, earlier i hope you remember that in in my previous lecture uh, let me open this elk dot in file elk dot in yeah so in our uh, previous lecture i talked about this number 3.8267 so we took it from the experiments now we want to know suppose we don't have any experimental data for any material or we want to ask a question that okay do aluminium have uh this much lattice constant how we can really verify the experiment may uh, may be something wrong so in our theory we can try to uh, establish the same thing or even in many cases try to confirm uh the experimental results so now we will be trying to calculate so what is the idea is we will be calculating total energy for aluminium for different values of lattice constants some slightly below this number some slightly above this number in some small and uh, steps and then we will try to see uh, the plot of uh, total energy with respect to this lattice constant and we will see how this number looks like okay let us uh, <coughs> begin it from say 3.50 <laughs> that's okay reasonably uh, smaller than experimental value and then we will run elk code so that i have already shared in the previous uh, uh lecture how to run it so now it is done fine uh now we just need to find out the total energy so this is the total energy for aluminium corresponding to now this is the total energy for lattice constant of 3.5 uh bore i believe i hope uh, we have taken that lattice constant uh yeah uh, this is a by 2 so fine i mean a by 2 is 3.5 okay uh, let us uh, to keep our life simple play with the something here so that uh, uh, there will be new learning here as well as our life will be little com comfortable so okay let us try to write down this as 0.5 this also as 0.5 this is 0 
and uh, this one also 0 0.5 and uh, this one also 0 0.5 so all those values which are 1 I'm making 0 0.5 and which are zero already I, I'm not going to change them at all so basically what is it doing is earlier it was the whole uh, lattice constant or lattice vectors we had we should have three lattice vectors for a three dimensional crystal say a1 for uh, any uh, FCC structure should be half um, say a by 2 rather a by 2 i cap plus a by 2 j cap plus 0 k cap and A2 should be say <coughs> A by 2 I cap plus 0 J cap plus A by 2 K cap and so on. You can go again to the Kittel or uh, Ashcroft Merman for that. Now, uh, so this number was A by 2 in that case. Now what we are do what I am doing is I am I am just changing these numbers. Earlier they were 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 and so on. So now if I am already making them half, so I have to multiply this by 2. So means this is something like 6.50, uh, uh, sorry, 3.50 would mean 7.00. Interestingly, both should have same energy. Let us see this also. So uh, a note, so I, I am doing it for 7.0. This calculation should be exactly same as the one which I just did with the lattice constant 3.5. This was A by 2 actually. So now note this energy somewhere in your notebook and uh, okay uh, now let me run elk code now okay it's done now again let us plot this now you should see this was our previous energy uh, with the uh, sec a different representation of uh, lattice vectors now this is our uh, 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 total energy in case we are using a different uh, representation now you would see 241.9102318 up to this decimal place these are exactly the same now you may say okay this last digit is differing so this may be arising because of various uh, round of errors which are done by our machines but still that is negligible we can safely neglect this this energy is extremely small it's just a numerical thing so this is going to be exactly same now what i want to what we want to do is we will be making say let us make a file say g edit say e a dot that so this is like energy versus lattice constant dot that we will be saving the data of and lattice constant versus energy in that so first column let us suppose it is uh, a and second column is energy so a sub in this case is 7.00 so why i took that number here is that otherwise i should have divided manually by a factor of 2 so i mean let's not now we don't need to bother about this so this is the corresponding energy let me just minimize it so that uh, we can uh, do another calculation so now let me open okay let me do it quickly in L, uh, vi editor so another value let us put say 7.2 uh, run L calculation we did nothing but just changed the lattice constant every other parameter is exactly the same uh, now this is the energy corresponding to lattice constant of 7.2 so this is here in this file so I will be saving this here and this is for oh sorry this is the previous value same let me paste it oh maybe it has not been copied so let me <coughs> copy this and paste this so now you should see that as this was a compressed crystal structure because lattice constant is just 7.00 now this is a crystal structure which is relatively uh, less compressed I would say so there is a decrease in energy so 241.916 so there is a decrease in energy I hope you understand what is the meaning of decrease in energy so energy is lower in that case now let us do one more calculation for say 7.40 and uh, we have to change actually that in elk dot in file so let me come here say 7.40 and that's it uh, so yes here we are done so this is the total energy corresponding to lattice constant of 
7.40 so let us save that here 7.40 you can now see uh, 916 it was now it is 918 still there is a decrease in energy so let us do it for one more let us constant say 7.60 run it and uh, yeah this is uh, 7 point uh, what was this value 7.6 uh, I think 7.60 paste this value so now again there is a decrease 918 this is 919 so still energy is decreasing we need to do a few more calculations say let us do it for 7.60 vi say elk dot in 7.60 Eight zero, and uh, let's see what is the energy for seven point eight zero. So basically, we are trying to see this curve minima. Where is the energy minimum lowest? So now you should see this is um, copy nine point sorry seven point eight zero. Now you should see there is a up to this point there was a decrease in energy. Now energy started to increase. This shows that the minima should be somewhere between 7.4 and 7.8. Okay, this may be some uh, some uh, mistake. So we should cross check for some uh, further higher value of lattice constant, so as to get that proper shape of the curve. Uh, <clears throat> when I show the plot, I will show the plot. You will realize. Okay, what does it mean? So let us do one calculation for 8.00. We are doing in a steps of point. Two bore. Uh, I hope you remember the units are bore, right? So now again you would see the energy has been further increasing. Uh, say 8.00. Now this is no. I mean this exercise you can do in detail. Uh, let me plot this this uh, data now for you. So X M Grace. E A dot that was the file name, right? So now you are saving. Now we are plotting this. Now you can see here this very nice plot between energy versus lattice constant. So this is how this is coming. So now you can see that okay, the energy should be minimum somewhere maybe here, close to 7.5 or so. So you can say that would be the that would have been the lattice constant, and this will be matching to a very good extent with the experiments now what i uh, recommend you is to do uh, some calculations with the uh, intermediate values so you repeat all these calculations yourself and do calculations for intermediate values uh, reduce the step size right now i am doing it in the steps of uh, 0.2 uh, bore right now you do it for say 0.05 bore not even 0.1 repeat the calculations in 0 0.05 bore so that will sh make this curve to be very much uh, better and uh, good looking rather and then i will show you how by using that simple data of energy versus lattice constant we can calculate the uh, various other structure related parameters like okay we can't do in, in principle we should do infinite many calculations to hit at that minima but practically we don't do infinite many calculations so what we do is we take uh, uh, the data with the uh, as many calculations as we can afford and from that we extract energy versus volume data because this is energy versus lattice constant so we can always convert uh, from energy versus lattice constant to energy versus volume and then we use a equation of state fitting i hope you have heard this term earlier maybe in your statistical mechanics uh, course equation of state so by by fitting energy versus volume to a specific equation of state we can find out what should be the corresponding volume at the lowest energy and from there we can find out the lattice constant corresponding to lowest energy so uh, and then from that equation of state we can also find out other parameters like bulk modulus uh, first order derivative of bulk modulus for a crystal so all that i will be doing in the next lecture till then you repeat these calculations do it for aluminium 
I would uh, ask you rather to look for other FCC structures in periodic table and do this E versus A calculation for all those structures. Then uh, in the next lecture, we all will be calculating the uh, what I call uh, this uh, 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 bulk moduli, bulk moduli for different uh, cases which you will be doing. I can suggest few. Say this is aluminium. You can try copper. You can try sodium. You can try um, uh, uh, copper, sodium, aluminium. Uh, try to look various other magnesium. Magnesium is hexagonal, so don't uh, 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 now bad bother for hexagonal things. So you spot many others. Say gold, silver. All those have uh, uh, FCC structure. So you try for FCC structures only uh, as of now, and then we will be calculating the bulk modulus for all those and then we will be trying to compare them with the experimental data. How does the experimental value of bulk modulus compare with these theoretical calculations? So till now, stay safe, thank you and good luck.